The comments and views expressed on The More Show are those of the people that make them and do not necessarily reflect the view of Kevin Moore, The More Show, or this radio station and its affiliate or sponsors. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Broadcasting from the UK and across the world online, you're now watching the UK's only alternative late-night talk show, and I'm your host, Kevin Moore. Today's show is brought to you in association with Livewire Talk, and on today's show I'm joined with family group Lucy Angel, which consists of mother Kate and daughters Lindsay and Emily, who started 10 years ago. Now they have performed across the world in many different venues, and in this time, collated enough material to form their debut album. They are now launching a new single off the album called Crazy 2. Lucy Angel was featured in an American 13 episode series documentary for AXS TV entitled Discovering Lucy Angel, which followed the group as they worked together to launch their album. Crazy 2 has reached number 1 on the Hot Disc European Top 40 Country Chart and has also charted on the Billboard Chart in the United States. Lucy Angel, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having us. It's great to have you all on. Thanks for all coming on today as well and making the time to do this. Um, I was just saying off air there, just how many interviews that you've done as well. Um, is this your first British one? Well, no. this is our this is our first uh, Skype British video. One. Yes, yes. yes. we've, so we've we done can... some over the phone. So you but... are the first face. I am honoured, I am honoured. Now, d just to give a bit of background to yourselves as well, because there's always a starting point uh, with, with everyone. Now, Mum, um, Kate, you, you actually, in your early years, um, you actually met your husband, who's now the, uh, the manager of you as a group, through, um, was it a, a singing competition or a dance competition? Oh, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually a singing group in college. We were touring, singing. We did a little dancing, but I wouldn't call it a dancing thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there were four guy singers and four girls, and that's actually where we met. And he was my Sunday school teacher. Right. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all making sense now. So, so. Okay, now what, what inspired you to get into singing to begin with? You know, my father was a singer. He sang with the San Francisco Opera when he was younger, and then he joined the Army, so he was, you know, he had a career in the Army, but music was always a central part of our lives. Uh, we lived in Europe for a while, and records were my whole life. I just, I listened to everything from the Beatles to opera to, you know, I was just a wide spectrum absolutely and I, I guess in your wildest dreams you never thought that you'd be um, you know teaming up with your daughters in the future to, to go on the road down the road that you've gone I did not I mean I got married very young and had kids very young and always sang with bands and and did musical theater and um, as the kids got older I, I looked for plays that had parts for kids so I didn't have to leave them at night. <laughs> so it kind of became sort of a whole family thing. And, and still is a whole family it, thing. <laughs> yeah, but I never thought we'd be singing country music together. No, no. And, and I, I guess, we, you know, because of your background with country music, then, you know, it was always, you know, in the family blood, wasn't it, in a sense? Yes. Yeah. Well, you felt, so, okay, so our dad grew up on a farm in Idaho, he grew up listening to Waylon and Willie and all the greats. And Tammy Wynette and yeah. Loretta Lynn. And he yeah. actually introduced me to country music. So when they first got married, he entered mom into the Wrangler Country Showdown. That's the competition. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that, that was the first time that she had actually sang country music. And she ended up winning the uh, competition for the state of Utah. And she got to come to Nashville and sing at the Grand Ole Opry. And that was kind of a big deal. Yeah, I mean, Nashville's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of hub, isn't it, for country music? Yeah, yes. very much so. Absolutely. And a lot of different kinds of music, too. Ab yeah, of course, of course, absolutely. And, and now, now before, um, um, before, Emily, that you came on board, th then uh, let's just get this right. You, you was a duo with, uh, with Mum and Lindsay. Is that right to begin with? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. yep. We yep. moved to Nashville, actually, as a duo. And, but Emily moved out with us. She was always there in a good supporting. way <laughs> supporting 
And I, you know, it just was kind of a natural evolution for her to actually then be on stage. She was asked, but she said she didn't want to be a part of it. And yeah. at some point, just, you know, it's all about timing in life. <laughs> oh, and, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, you know, we were here in Nashville for maybe a year or two. And then I told the girls that I wanted to join the band. Apparently, we got good enough. That she felt like she could. Sh no, <laughs> I just thought they put her name on it. No. I thought they needed my help, and I, yes. you know, I was like, "Come on, girls! I know you can't do it without me." So <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, was it scary for you um, to, to come onto to the stage? I mean, because you've been in front of some large audiences as well. I mean, you've just you've seen the audience grow, obviously, as as you've grown. Yeah, you know, it. I sang as a kid, and then I kind of got a little bit shy for my teenage years. So it was scary to step on stage um, with these two, but there was a lot of comfort knowing that I had my mom and sister on stage with me and that sort of allowed me the, I was able to kind of grow into um, myself as an artist and get comfortable yeah. on stage with the support of these two. So very, it was very cool. It was cool to see that also, watch her. <clears throat> Because we had never sang harmonies together before she was right. in the group. So that was a very cool thing to watch that happening and, and just hear it for the first time. You're like, whoa, this is this It is was, it was awesome. super cool. But she wanted to stand at the back of the stage at first. It was, she did one show that way <clears throat> where she stood in the back and kind of said, I just want to sing background vocals for you. And the comment was, why is the girl who looks just like you in the back of the stage? <laughs> like, well, you know, with what you what you girls are doing as well. I mean, it, you know, yeah, you, you have to really believe in it, don't you? I mean, I mean, to to have manifested what you've done, right? Um, you know, it, it's almost like you've set the intention to say you already have it. And it, it, do you feel that sometimes? Yes. Yeah. I mean, no, you ha this exactly, is a, have had exactly, exactly, world. Yes. But exactly what you just said. You have to want it that bad. And to get up it. every day and just keep putting one foot in front of the other because it is It's a tough not, business. It, oh, yes. There's so much talent in this town and the best song and the best artist doesn't always rise, rise, to, the rise to the top. So, I mean, you just, you have to believe in yourself and keep going. And I think... And surround yourself with people who believe in you as well, yeah. which I think is one of the amazing things about being a family group and having a lot of family around you is definitely you know, our dad is definitely our biggest champion and we would not be here today nope. without, without no. his support and and he is a true believer in just you just keep going you just keep going you figure out a way and you just keep going yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and like everything you said there, I completely agree with as well. And would you say, uh, I mean, you've probably said this before, but you know, it is definitely your purpose, isn't it, for all three of you right now? This is what you're meant to be doing. It is. It absolutely, <clears throat> Kevin. There, feel, it couldn't feel more that way. <laughs> and there, there is no backup plan. There is no, <laughs> no plan B. Like so, this is what we're doing, and we're going to make it work. Someone and, recently yeah. asked when we were going to give up and we were like i'm sorry we've never been asked that and that's not an option so okay, we're like no, we're, we're here never about it. <laughs> yeah it. yeah it, absolutely and when you're in alignment with what you should be doing as well you know i think you really become of service to people and i think that's represented in in your music as well because you know you'll never know the lives that, that it's touched will you and you know i mean but you know at, at, on, a, on a bigger level um as much as you're enjoying it and you know it, it provides for you and everything else it is of service it, it is. is. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it is hopefully. Um, it, it's great when you can see people and see their reaction. In some of the smaller settings, you can actually see people reacting to songs. They'll come up and tell you, oh, my gosh, you know, that song just, I went through a breakup and a relationship, and that song it just really spoke to me about getting through to the other side. And it is. It's, or I just lived, I dated that guy. Uh, you know, it's, so it's it's great when your music can relate to people and you know, hopefully I, touch them. I think it's cool and also inspiring also for women, um, even just being a family. And um, I have a daughter and we make it work. She obviously has 
you know, a a daughter, two daughters (laughs) and two sons and a family. And, and she makes it work. And she, she is a mother and living her dream, you know, even now. And I feel like that that's very inspiring. I've heard women, you know, mothers say that, wow. And look at your mom, your mom is doing this. And she's, you know, she learned the mandolin, you know, you know, 10 years ago. And it's just, it's, it's awesome. Well, it, it is. I, I, I'm all for you know empowered women. I, I completely am, and I think it's it, it's great to see what you guys have done together. It's just it's uh, it's brilliant, and, and and it's only growing. I mean, you, you've I've, I've actually was watching off air uh, parts of the uh, reality TV show, <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to say it's it's actually it's actually filmed uh, really well, uh, and, and well done. You know, for getting that as well, because you know that that can only help. And it's great. It, it must have been weird to sort of share your life on camera with. Uh, you know the rest, the rest of uh, parts of America, but uh, 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 yeah, it, it's. It, uh, but it's definitely helps. It absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, we. It was a little bit scary going into a project like this, just because we've never filmed a TV show, and a bad TV show could hurt our music career. So, but. We felt comfortable because the director was such a believer in the family and the music, and really wanted to genuinely tell the story of a family band trying to break it on an independent label in Nashville. So, um, and yeah, so we felt comfortable and just like what you said, a great platform to help get the music out there. Yeah. And unlike a lot of reality TV shows, JT Taylor, um, who did the Osbournes TV show, yeah. doesn't believe in scripted reality, which just seems like... Which is why he calls it a docu-series. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I was very comfortable with the fact that they weren't trying to, like, give us lines to say that wouldn't come out of our mouths normally. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's not so. your typical reality show no. with, you know, cat fights and contrived drama. It's, it's There's actually a lot of humor. Yeah. And... We laugh a lot. Yeah. And there's enough drama going on within the business that you don't need to create it and it's it i think that our dad had said in an interview somewhere that we all think is brilliantly put that it's it's a family business but it's also the business of being a family that is so true that is so true. What, what we're, what we're going to do as well, we're going to link some past episodes that are on the, um, oh, which network was it with? Uh, AXS TV, I think. Access TV, sorry, yeah, that's right. Um, we're going to link below this video as well, just, just to some of the, the, the previous uh, short clips that, that are available online, because it's, it's well worth the watch. Um, what's, you know, oh yeah, with uh, the new album as well, um, what's, what's been the inspiration behind the new album, would you say? We actually spent about six months writing for this record, specifically, for, specifically this this record. for this record, and um, we really wanted it to be um, harmony driven, and you know, just songs that we could relate to, situations that you know maybe we've been in, <laughs> maybe we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's two of the songs that we wrote. We you know, we chose to put on the record and we were just, we were lucky enough to be um, pitched some amazing songs from other writers in Nashville that we were big fans of songwriters. And uh, it, we just, it was hard to choose, you know, between some, between of, some our, of our yeah. songs that we'd written, but we were just looking for a cohesive record that kind of told, um, that was an easy listen from beginning to end. You know, we yeah. wanted that kind of an experience we, for the listeners. Yes, we wanted a whole album of, of great songs that would be, you know, I mean, sometimes it seems like these days you get a, an album and it's, you find one or two songs and we just wanted it all to be a great experience, like you said. Yeah, at, the end, of, at the end of the day, we were looking for the best song to tell the story that we were trying to tell and the journey that we were trying to take people on um, yeah. on this album. Yeah. 
definitely. Yeah. And and I, and I think there's um, authenticity in, in in your music as well. And I think that's what came through when watching the um, TV documentary. I was going to say that just then, but I forgot yeah. it. Um, <laughs> there's, de- there's definitely authenticity there, and I like yeah. that. That's nice to see. And as you were just saying about about this, you know, watching the family as well. You know, it's just normal. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's you know, it doesn't need to be high end <laughs> drama but I, i'm sure there is off camera right but um it was just it was just nice to see something something different and and, and it's you know it's nice to see country you know uh, you know cuz country music comes from a different space as well obviously uh, in, in, you know in its background um so yeah it it, it's, it was great to see it now for 2016 um where what would be your hope for 2016 well okay so you know, do you know the tv show is airing january 21st in the uk I was going to um, ask you that, so thank you. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, it is right. <laughs> On Showbiz Network, right. which we're so excited about. Excellent. Um, and yeah. they're doing a sneak peek, sneak preview on, on Christmas, Christmas Day and New, New Year's, Year's Day. Day. So this is season one that they're airing. Yeah. And right. so we will be filming season two at some point. Okay. 2016. 2016. So we're excited yeah. about that. Um, yeah, and, and are we talking? Just, so we're, we're just, we have some really cool stuff that we can't talk about that's <laughs> happening in January. Uh, okay. January. Okay. Like okay. mid-January here. Like, yeah, we're, we can't talk about it just yet, but that's going to be really cool. Really <laughs> but <now>. definitely more, <laughs> you know, touring shows, radio yeah. shows. We've been so fortunate this year. We had um, a lot of radio support behind us this year, so we're going to continue you know, visiting those stations and playing shows with those stations. And also we're um, starting to write and, you know, the, the process work of on, a new, yeah. work on new music, yeah. you know, That's for a, a new project. So. Process, so. Excellent, excellent. I, I think you know one thing that I get from yourself, maybe intuitively, I'm not sure, but is that you don't you never give up. I think that's one of the big messages here as well for anyone, be it female artist or male, do not give up. You've got to keep going. And and I think what's easier for yourselves, as you've said, is you've got the family support that that does make it comforting. And I'm and I'm sure you don't you you, you know you, you you do appreciate that. Um, but for those who don't have it, what would be your message for anyone that that that's struggling right now in this field? There is a lot to be said in this business for perseverance. Like, just, I, if you look. Believe in yourself. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> like Lindsay was saying, perseverance, stick to itiveness, and surround yourself with people that are believers. That believe in you and share your same vision, and you'll, and you'll get there. Because I haven't talked to too many artists who weren't told no any number of times. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a rare case for somebody to just I've decided Blow to into sing, the scene and be like and oh. they signed me and I got a record out. I mean, that that would be a bizarre, you know, yeah. deal. But but there's everybody's been told no. Garth Brooks was told no by every single label in this town. And we happen to know the lady who was managing him at the time, she told the story that he sang at the Bluebird after he'd been turned down by everybody that wow. night. And it just so happened somebody else from the label came to listen and they said, she said, oh yeah, we sang for you today. And he goes, they go, whoa, what did we say? And she goes, she lied. <laughs> she said, they haven't gotten back to us yet. And he goes, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. just saying, you just never know. So you just keep going. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that uh, for the audience. And and uh, uh, yes, just coming to the UK as well. You, you, there's potentially maybe some plans in place for a European uh, leg of a, of, of a tour, maybe. Absolutely, oh, yes. definitely. Work. It's in, it's in the works. We just don't have any specifics on it. Yeah. Yet. So uh, yeah, but we'll let you know. Absolutely. We'll, really up, so. we'll make it over there. <laughs> I hope you do, man. I hope I hope you I really hope you do. And it's because um, I mean you've travelled many many places. I mean uh, I think Japan was one place you've been. Sweden, Japan, China, um, Switzerland, China, and China. China. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Oh. You know some experiences to you know the, to, just to be on the road and go to these different places. So that 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 that's fantastic. Well, I just want to say thank you all so much for coming on the show. Um, we will be playing out with your track as well uh, on on the end of this interview. So and which is uh, crazy too which is a great track and uh, well well done as well for 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 um, the success you've had with that track thanks so thank much thank you so much it's been an amazing ride we've had yes. a great time
with, you know, how it, how, you know, having people come to say, oh my gosh, that's what mom was talking about. I dated that person <laughs> or I'm with that person right now. <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much, Kevin. She's lost a couple of screws Yeah, I know why she's crazy Cause baby, you done made me crazy too I know why she hates you Cause right now I'm on the verge I know why if she keeps your car Cause I should got the urge Now I don't want to stand there In her bitter high heel shoes Yeah, I know why she's crazy Cause baby, you done made me crazy too We've come to an end on tonight's show. Don't forget that you can listen and watch all our past interviews on the More Shows official YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new daily shows. You may also find out more on our past and upcoming guests on the show via themoreshow.co.uk and do like us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. So until next time, be safe.